we're gonna do Holly, and Holly does red. Hi everyone, it's Maria Del Russo, and I'm here on Broadway at Breakfast at Tiffany's, and we're gonna show you how to get the full Holly Go Lightly look. She's a classic beauty, and I think she wears clothes in a classic way and has a classic look. She's not a punk, she's not a bohemian, she's, uh, she's chic. I'm here backstage with Sonia Kashuk makeup artist Edward Cruz, and he's gonna show us how to get the Holly Go Lightly look at home. Can we jump right in okay, here? Okay, let's go, let's do this. <laughs> Your skin is kind of prepped, you look great, you have beautiful skin. My favorite thing to do is start with eyes. I'm gonna go with an ivory and like a peachy color. I'm just gonna wipe out the eye, give a really clean base to work with. Cover the eyeball, saturate the eyeball with whichever bronze brown color you choose. I'm just gonna tap the brush in all four colors and go straight over the eyeball. Holly's skin is luminous and flawless and the best way to get that is to take a little bit of foundation on a brush and just wipe out the skin. I like to put it in three places, the middle of the face, the chin and the forehead. I love just taking a clean brush and kind of buffing out the skin because last thing I wanna see is makeup. To contour, I'm gonna use a cream bronzer. You tilt your head back to expose your natural contour. Basically, where you see that shadow is where you want to trace. I'm taking the softer color. I'm using it right underneath her cheekbones. We're just going to use a little bit of the darker color closest to the ear. We're blending in the bronzer right now just to make it look a little bit more natural. We're just about done with this makeup. We have beautiful polished skin. We have great eyes. We have no mascara yet. We're going to do the lip. We're going to do Holly and Holly does red. We're gonna take this darker color lip liner and we're just gonna go on the outer part of the lip. Basically what we're gonna do is softly blend the liner into the lip. Curling your lashes is one of the best things you can do to freshen up your face. So let's throw on some mascara and we've got Holly go lightly in the room. This mascara is pretty effective. I only need one coat to really get the look that I want. Never forget to brush your brows. <laughs> I'm using Luminizer just to the cheekbones, wipe it on, and then just buff it out with a brush. And voila, there's Holly Go Lightly. <laughs> now that I have my Holly Go Lightly makeup, Umberto here is gonna show us how to get her hair. First, it's very important, we create a part, four inch part. Why four inches? It works really good because we're gonna need two different sections of the hair. And I have my co-worker here, Brittany, to help me to do some of the blow drying. As you can see now, the part is nice and clean, very shiny, very close to the scalp. In order to achieve that high intensity heat on the roots only, without creating any volume towards the ends. So now we have one section, two sections, and the third section. Now we're ready to start the back of the hair. This is a ponytail holder. Flat rubber band, it doesn't stretch, it doesn't uh, damage the hair, it doesn't break the hair off and it's created with two bobby pins. So you can make that yourself at home? At home, very easy to do at home. We're gonna pin this in in one section and then twirl, twirl the, around it and pin it in, into the hair. The idea is to create a wonderful bun in the back, okay? This is a bun, we cut it, and then remove by one inch. So you have to measure from one side to another. A the hair li hairline to hairline. So After we measure the back, we're going to trim it so that it sits like a perfect chignon right in the middle of the back of your head, but you don't want to be able to see it from the front of the style. Okay. So we're going to tuck the hair in. We're going to make sure we get all her layers. And as we roll, we create this perfect bun. We're attaching right now the bun to your hair. So everything is secured. Many people buy hair pins and they just stick it right in the hair. What happens is, as soon as you move, the hairpin comes out. We have discovered something, you just bend one low end. And once you stick it in, you can't get it out. Now we're gonna very gently start opening it, up, opening it up and then gather everything together. The sponge is very soft, so it's easy to get those pins to just go right into that bun and they'll hold very good. You also wanna take pins underneath and then tuck it in under. Now we're gonna set the 40s wave into these front pieces with the curling iron, facing downward, and we wrap the hair. And as we wrap, we create a bend at the top by bending your wrist back. We're gonna let that set. I wear this heat resistant glove, so I can feel the heat coming through the hair and I know it's set. 
Now I'm not gonna drop the hair yet because the bonds of the hair are hot. We're creating a wave. Once it cools off, the wave is well set. And we're gonna do one more underneath over here. Well, now we have to create softness around the face and at the same time the wave. So first, I'm gonna take a little spray to hold back these bangs. We're gonna camouflage her bangs into this style. I'm gonna wrap this section back and as I come to the back, I need to cover my sponge that is still exposed over here. I have already have the curl in there so I can wrap it in. I leave out the top part of the hair where we're gonna have the C wave. I tear my side and I wrap it back and wrap it in to cover my pieces. So it's very important to set in this wave and once you get this wave set, you take the hair from the front, cover your pieces, empty areas in the back and pin it in and you are set. It's all about, you know, curling and smoothness and patience. The whole exterior, external effect of Holly Go Lightly is a very important one. I think it's the look that goes with the heart that makes her who she is. Hope you enjoy getting this look at home. I'm Maria Del Russo. Thanks for watching. Bye.